five social, economic, and cultural groups under the auspices of Tundun Wada Zaria Sub Sustainable Development Association have called on the leadership National Assembly and individuals involved to clear and confirm Malam Dasuri Arufai as Minister for Fairness, Equity, and Justice for National Development. Addressing a press conference in Kaduna, Secretary of the group Ahaji Nasiru Laden said there was no reason the nominee should not be cleared and confirmed despite going through a rigorous process of screening with various security services. He noted that all the nominees with pending cases with EFCC were confirmed. We in Sakamuda are left in total disbelief over the turn of events where his name was withheld under the excuse that it was awaiting security clearance. When it is a non-criterion, that his, that his name, along with all others, couldn't have reached the Red Chambers without formally passing through the rigorous screening of all security mechanisms. At the floor of the Senate, on the day Malan Nasr Ahmed El Rufai was screened, a senator from Kogi State raised a plea that he was in a position of a petition from Southern Kaduna against the nominee praying that he is allowed, if he is allowed to read it, which was stood down and requested the nominee to take a bow and go by the Senate President, who has anything to go by, demonstrated a sign of neutrality by the Senate President on frivolous and vindictive attitude by some few individuals that has denied the zone any meaningful development from time in memory. We noticed serious, with serious concern the conspiracy to deprive our beloved country the benefit of Madam Nasrud Erufai's tremendous contributions, confidence, and experience in governance are uh, indisputable. Based on the record available, Madam Nasrud Erufai was the best performing governor in the history of Kaduna State. Urge the Senate to clear Malab Nasuru Erufai urgently without further delay in the interest of peace, fairness, and justice. Unfortunately, there are some nominees cleared and are allegedly with cases before EFC. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.